Hello YouTubers, 98 Mercedes Benz E430 and we are experiencing an issue with the wheel and I'll show you what it's doing. So it feels like the wheel is ready to fall off. So let's take it apart and see what's happening. So first we'll start with the jacking up the vehicle and putting the jack stand underneath the frame. Next we will get the wheel off and for that you will use 17 mil socket and this is half inch impact so as you can see it seems like the bearing is gone so this car has tapered roller bearings on the this front axle and it was loose a bit roughly a month ago I got it tight and a few days ago I think the wheel, the wheel bearing finally went so as you can see it's the outer one is still okay but the inner one is probably gone so to get uh, it off we'll need to remove the uh, brake caliper so we'll start with that so before we get the caliper off you want to spread your brake pads a bit so they are loose considering that this is moving so much it's probably already spread like in my case um, but if yours is not, make sure that you push those brake pads out a bit. Okay, so to I will be pulling the entire caliper bracket with the uh, caliper. Let's see how that works. But you have two bolts, 18 mil, one on top and one just over there at the bottom. So we'll get it out. Okay, I'm just using impact and a swivel. See how that works. So one is out. And do always bottom bolt first. So if you do the top one, when you do the bottom, there is a chance that the caliper will flip over and can potentially hit you. So next you want to grab a piece of wire or a bungee cord so when you pull this off you can tie it so it's not pulling on the ABS wires and on the brake cables. Just like that. Okay, so next uh, we need to remove the spindle nut or axle nut and it is tighten by five millimeter allen or hex bolt so now it can easily come off and also there is a chance that the rotor and the hub will be coming off so be prepared to catch it So we will get the outer bearing first. It's still in one piece. So now the most interesting part, I would like to see what's happening on the back. And as you can see, there is no bearing and no seal at the back. So in order to get this in the race off, uh, I'm going to remove the dash shield.
Right, so all my effort to be nice did not work out. So bigger hammer, five pound hammer and a punch and just hit it from top, it crack it open. So don't try to be nice too much. This is probably the way to go from the very beginning. So that's how it worked. So I got the hub cleaned lots of small pieces from the bearing so make sure that you get it out all so next week we will go ahead and remove this remaining of the seal so i will be using just regular pry bar hopefully this works and it does work so the seal is out so now we can go ahead and remove the outer brace. So it seems like one and one eight socket fits exactly on that trace. So we will just try to hammer in. check if it moves so to get the outer wheel bearing race we use 15 16 um, impact deep socket so it sits just on the race Basically, this is how it set inside. To get this race might be a little bit more difficult. Have to look like this. So this is kind of blind, blind hole bearing removal uh, tool. So basically, I will install this, and then we'll screw this in. Uh, screw in this bolt and it will expand and I will be able to catch that bearing out uh, if you don't have one and many people do I didn't have it before one way would be to get this job done you can just weld a link in the middle of the race uh, on both sides in that case you not just giving you a point which you can hit from the other side but also you are hitting up the race you are uh, when you weld and when it cools down it will compress the race uh, so it should come up pretty easily and that's what I would normally do if I don't have the tool just weld a piece of metal in between so you can hit from the other side and get that race out but at this point we are getting close now when we have the surface that we can hit 
So we'll just put this in the vise. And do the same what we've done to the other one. Just hammer it out. Just use the same socket. So now what we're gonna do, get this cleaned inside out. As you can see, there's lots of grease on the ABS ring, so this has to be all cleaned out, all those grooves. And in the inside, we'll just use paper towel and brake clean to get everything clean. Okay, so our hub is nice and clean. So now we can get our races out of the freezer. Quite cold at the moment. We will use the old race to drive drive it in. If you have a hydraulic press, you can definitely use that. I do have one, but I would like to give it a try just using the hammer. Since probably most of you guys will not have access to the hydraulic press. Okay, this one is in. We can move to this one. So again, we have our races frozen. They've been sitting in a deep freezer for a while. So we can use this one. We can use old race. And it seems like one and five eighths impact socket fits well over top just want to see if it goes in evenly more just a tiny bit more it's already flush but just to make sure okay so we have two races in. Next we will pack um, this bearing with grease, put it in and cover it with the seal. So we are using red lithium grease for this application so we will make sure that we Pack our bearing with grease before we put it in. And it just takes lots of spinning and pushing that grease into the rollers. From all the sides where you can. Okay, so now when it's packed from all the sides just place it in just like that and then we will put a little bit more 
so the area under the seal is covered with this nice and sticky grease and also you want to apply some pressure when you do this so you push the grease into the bearing Okay, so now we will put the seal in and I will leave links to the parts in the description to the video. I will just use two inch socket to push it in. It's nice and flush, so we should be good with this. So I have cleaned the spindle and since that bearing is already in the hub, so make sure that this surface doesn't have any um, rough uh, patches so that, so that seal, uh, that uh, bearing can go on easily. Also, this surface, that's where the seal sits, and it's quite old, like the vehicle is 24 years old, and it's rusted, so I have sanded it with sandpaper, started with 100 red, and ended up with 200. It's not ideal, but we have what we have. Um, same thing here, uh, make sure that this is smooth, so your bearing goes in easily.